Hello team and welcome to this video. This is an extended part of the first part of where we show you more uses of control E that is much better than using formulas. So in this video, we are going to show you more examples. In case you have not watched the first part, please look for it on the list of our playlist of videos where we show you how you can use control E for basic um, functions or uses. This is a bit more advanced as compared to part one. So we will show you one uh, the list of examples and then also show you the limitations that are associated with using control E. So let's jump into it right away. So for us to be able to create uh, a automatic list of emails, what we need to do is that first we just put the first uh, name here and then we put a, a full stop and then we put it. So once we've done that, we press enter and then we have got the first name here matching with the same name. And then all we need to do is that uh, on our keyboard, we have to make sure that we press uh, control and press, click here and press control E. And then it does automatically uh, replicate this uh, email addresses, copying up the first name and the same name and joining in with the domain name. Let's go on to the next example. And then here in this example, we can also extract um, names from email addresses. So let's copy uh, this list here that we've created here. Once we've copied it, then we can, uh, we can paste it here and then make sure it fits very well. And then here we can also write uh, Tafala Gael, right? And then we press uh, Control E. And then it automatically extracts the, the user names from the domain names and put them in onto another column. So this is how you can keep on using uh, the control E much faster to be efficient in data separation instead of using the long method of data separation and all that. Here, let's um, look at uh, this example again. Here, we can also uh, reverse names. So here we come here again, and then we say we want to copy. We want to copy this one here, right? And then here we put out the email addresses here. Let's copy it. Then we come here and we just paste it. And then make sure it's fitting here, and then the full name. So here we can also extract Gael, uh, Tafala as it is here and then make sure it's fitting very well press a control e and then it does that automatically so it's not automatic that it can start copying with the first name only but you can also reverse starting with the same name and the first name again it all works these are more flexibilities that come with using control e let's go on to numbers now so for example if you have four numbers and you want to to have this format that is above here so what you need, maybe you want to separate the, the country code and then the phone number with a uh, hyphen in between. So once you've done this, all you need to do is press uh, Control E and then it automatically replicates what's on top and then it falls down and cascade to other cells. So let's, mo let's move on to more examples with numbers. In this case, we are on dates. So with the dates here, you can easily extract uh, months, days and years from these um, a single disk that are fully aggregated. So for example, we want to extract, um, a, let's say the months, that, that is a six and press control E, it does that. We come on to years, uh, to, uh, to days, and then press control E, it does that. Then we come here to years, and then do control E, it does that. So this is how we can take advantage of this control E to do even more sophisticated uh, data separation replication and automation that would take you a nested uh, formulas to be able to fulfill this but you only be able to use a control e so we have seen what control e can do we have stretched its functionalities we have stretched its uh, capabilities so the next thing that we need to do is that let's go under limitations so like any other uh, functions that comes in with microsoft or excel or formulas 
or any that is designed, it has limitations. So let's look onto the first limitation that comes with control E. So for example, if we want to extract uh, the middle initial name uh, for, for, a, for a given um, full name of a person. So for example, in this case, let's say want D, right? And then press uh, control E to replicate. But we see that um, the, 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 the second name does not have uh, any initial. So it, use, it copies the first name and it makes it a mid initial, of which we don't want that. So these, were, these are some of the limitations that come with using control E that we cannot stretch it beyond its capabilities. And then let's look on to uh, limitation number two. So limitation number two, Excel uh, allows you to use control E when the cells are adjacent or close to each other. So in this case, we have a blank uh, column that is in between uh, the extraction point and the, the source point where it is. So in this case, want to extract the middle names as we had sh shown in the previous example we press ctrl e you will see that excel says that we looked at all the data next to your selection and didn't see a pattern to fill in values for you so as you can see it looks at cells that are linked in close to each other that are just in to be able to extract that data and link it so in in case you want to use um ctrl e make sure the cells are close to each other there is no there are no cells that are in between that are can cause inconsistencies in terms of data extraction. I hope that you have um, extracted much from using Control E in these examples, and you've also learned uh, the limitations for this um, using uh, Control E in Microsoft Excel. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe so that we keep on making more of these uh, productive uh, videos in Microsoft Excel, where we show you more tips and tricks. For you to be able to be productive in microsoft excel so we say bye team for now and ciao we are